Okay, YouTube, I've got the uh, placement of the studs marked here on the door skin. I have decided to go ahead and uh, use the screws. And I have blasted the screws. And I've cleaned them. And get ready to start drilling the holes. And then we'll go ahead and uh, get them installed. We'll use the uh, panel bond. Before we actually apply the panel bond to the back of the screw and the skin, we'll test fit the skin on the frame and we'll see if we have to grind any of it away for any clearance type of issues. But let's get started. So when I'm talking about trim studs, naturally I'm talking about these molding studs here, trim rivets, molding rivets, whatever you want to call them, that go along the top of the door. There's actually six on the top of this door skin. So I've got to mark them on our new one. We'll go ahead and uh, you can see some slight surface rust right in here. We'll go ahead and clean all that up. Mark them. So we'll go ahead and start cleaning that door skin up and getting everything prepped. And I'll bring you back shortly. Okay, YouTube, the holes are drilled. You can see this top piece is just a little bit larger opening than the bottom. I want to clean all that up in there, get rid of some of that light surface rust that you see. With a roll lock, I'm going to flip it over, clean the epoxy away from the screw holes, and we'll be ready for some panel bond and put the screws in. One of the things you have to be mindful about on these screws is exactly where they're going to come through on the back side and you don't want this to interfere with the door frame. Now I probably will grind a lot of this down at least till I can see the first thread there and then I'll have a little bit of an area to where I can dab some panel bond just around the edge of it but I have the uh, skin just sitting on the frame and I thought we'd take a look we're going to be okay on these first two this third one it's actually going to sit right in here where the screws go for some of that I think the window sweeps go into that so we'll have to be mindful there. This one is going to come right up against the frame. I may notch the frame just a little bit there to give me some room. This one is the same as the other one. It's going to come right into this area here. So it, it may be okay. 
And then this one, I'll probably notch the frame right there. Okay, YouTube, here's what we wind up on the top side. Not looking too bad. And here's what I wind up on the back side. Now, I just barely got about a sixteenth of an inch sticking out here. And probably should have went ahead and test fitted it before I did this but I had that that glue out and I knew I was cutting it close with that nozzle so I went ahead and uh, 
just went for it. I think I've got it down to where it's going to be okay. Uh, probably the one thing on this project that I'm not too crazy about was this. But uh, I'm just ready to move forward. And I think with everything that I've been dealing with on it, it was either this or just scrap that chrome all together. And I really almost did that. But uh, I really want to, since it does have the Z21 option, I really wanted that chrome. And this seemed like a best solution for me at this point in time. If I could ever get that stud welder gun to work right, that's what I'll go back to. But in order to move forward, that's what I did. Got the uh, skin sitting back on the frame. Just taking a look at it. We knew we was going to be okay on these first two. We're okay on the third one. We got enough clearance there. We've got clearance on, on this one, but I will go ahead and uh, clearance the frame just a little bit there. We're okay on this one. And this one is hitting, but that's no big deal. We'll just clearance the frame right in there and I believe we'll be okay. The screws do make it look like hack work, no doubt. But we're getting ready to remedy that. We're going to put just a little bit of uh, fiberglass filler on top of these. Not that it really matters, but they'll look like rivets when we're done. <laughs> okay, guys, <laughs> we've got some newspaper down here. I've got this skin prepped for the plug welds and you know I probably didn't have to do all this I could have just sprayed the weld through primer in there on the flange and been done with it but I did go through a lot of trouble to get the white epoxy in here on the inside of the door skin so I decided to go ahead and go a little bit extra and uh, just tape it up. So this has all been cleaned and it's been, uh, I took a Dremel tool and freshly ground down to the metal there. Got rid of any surface rust that may be there and it's all been cleaned and it's been sitting for about 30 minutes. Got the uh, well through primer on and uh, looks pretty good. You have to really pay attention and get up into there. And I'm thinking once this skin is folded over, I'll probably flood the seam with epoxy after I've got the gaps set on the car and I, I know I'm not gonna have to do any uh, welding to the edges. And we'll pour this seam with epoxy. Got this uh, panel prepped. And let me tell you, I had to uh, hand sand all that. I tried to get in here with a roll lock and, and get some of it, but it was just uh, not happening. So I hand sanded every bit of it with a piece of 80 grit. And then I took 80 grit on a DA to these areas here. I did spot blast a few of the low areas and speaking of that spot blaster it's got the recovery on it 
I don't think I'll ever use that in the garage again. It's just too messy. Even with the recovery bag, it's just too messy. But the only reason I'm going to put epoxy on this bare metal is mainly for these studs because they've been freshly blasted and I just don't want to take a chance in rust setting up on the metal with them already installed so I'd rather go ahead and get them in epoxy. And while I've got it mixed up I'm going to go ahead and spray a couple coats on this area. Now this actually looks pretty decent in the bare metal with the uh, DA scratches on it but trust me it's rough and this is from that uh, damage where it fell off the stand and once I get this black shiny epoxy on it you'll be able to see just how rough it is but it was the best I could get it without oil canning it. I'd actually already oil canned it in that particular location and took a little bit to get it out but I got it out so we're ready for some epoxy one quick note, these are the uh, trim screws that I ordered and I was looking around in my parts stash and I just happened to have this GM bag and it wasn't open, I opened it. It has some different types of clips. You see that clip there and that clip, but it also has those same trim screws. The GMs have some type of, uh, I don't know, sealant on the threads. But anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. YouTube. Here's where we finished up. And I'm a little heavy around these studs, but that's okay. And the hand scratches are a little bit more exaggerated than what you would normally see with a DA. But overall, I got good coverage on them. I got a little heavy just trying to get that first initial coverage but they'll be sanded again like I said I just wanted to protect them this part here you can see the highs and lows I mean this black epoxy really makes them stand out they're not too too bad when you run your hand over it but you can definitely see it and this particular area turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to because it's a little rough too but, like I said, it, it looks a lot better than I thought. I actually thought it was going to be worse than this. But this is the worst of it, and that's from that damage. And as bad as that damage was, right in the middle of a flat area. 
and as straight as I've got it now, I'll take it. It was really difficult to get it to that point. And I mean, I can run a ruler across it and it's, it still looks pretty straight. So it's going to take a skim coat for sure. Well guys, that's going to do it for this video. <laughs> I appreciate everybody watching. Appreciate all my subscribers. The next video, I'm going to be doing the same thing on the driver's side. And I've also still got the frames to do. I'll shoot some footage on the frames, but I probably won't shoot much on the driver's side skin because it's just going to be a rerun. But like I said, I appreciate everybody watching. I was glad to get out here in the garage and finally make some progress, especially on these uh, trim studs. And when I have a little bit more progress, I'll be back online. Thank you.